Hidden away from open view is a Lancashire area with a really interesting story. 200 years ago, Brinscall Moors was home to 50 farms and they were packed into an area of just five square miles. But by 1945, that number had dwindled to just four. 15 years later, there were none. Today, most of the farms can't even be seen, but some can. And in this video, we're going to unearth some for you. So this is the story of what happened. And whole families, whole generations would sleep under the same roof in these farms, along with their cattle and pigs and sheep, etc. But in 1895, there was a typhoid breakout in Kent and the water authorities were under huge pressure to clean up the water supply. And the farms had outdoor toilets and of course their livestock, both of which could potentially leak into the local reservoirs and infect the water supply. The Water Board's answer was to take control of the land through a compulsory land purchase and they planted a huge number of trees on the land. It effectively took away all the grazing land for the farms. Their, their animals had nowhere to graze any longer. Working one of these farms in the harsh environments that you had to was already a very difficult task. It suddenly got monumentally difficult. So whilst that's a sad story, let's go for a jollier wander, shall we, and see what we can find. Big, big thanks to John Monty for the very generous gift that was left via our tip jar. And yes, John, Cascale rather than coffee sounds good to us. Big thanks to Rob who also used the tip jar and left us a gift in there. Very much appreciated Rob. Thank you very much for your support. Just got to watch our footing this morning. It's, uh, yeah, we've got holes. Like this is super slippy. Yeah. Oh, the sun just won't reach, at this time of the year, the sun just won't reach this area, will it? So it's going to be a slippy ass. It's amazing how trees can just stand for so long and then one day it just sort of says, yeah, I've had enough. It's a bit like humans. <laughs> well, I suppose, yeah. I suppose they rot, don't they? I don't know. Ah. Mm. Du, 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 du. <laughs> That's why they came from up this way. Yeah, there is a reason. The locals know where to walk. <laughs> I'm squidgy. Something about the sort of stone walls and infrastructure, isn't there, when they're covered in moss, they just... Yeah, look at... I mean, even look at the tree there. Not a single leaf, but green because of the, uh, the moss cover. Oh yes, there's a hole. That must be where I was stuck at the top. The rats are big here. a lovely feel to it this area I think that's probably something we're going to end up saying more than once on this little explore but it does feel very it's very peaceful isn't it mm, very babbling brooks as well well it's a bit more than a brook isn't it babbling the sound brooks. of water so nice and all the locals seem very friendly everyone mm -hmm. everyone acknowledges you and good morning and all that sort of uh, all that sort of good stuff which is always nice always a sign that you're in a nice area when people aren't throwing bottles at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually happened. <laughs> Nobody's come out with stakes and pitchforks going to get out yeah. of our town. Is it a village? Hamlet? I don't know, is it big enough to be a village? Oh, it's a village. Village. It's a village. We're going with a village. Right, so the plan um, is to try and find a lost, at least one lost farm, possibly two, uh, being lost 
<laughs> we have to find them. <laughs> and we think the first one's actually in the forest in front, well, to our left, we think. So we're just trying to find the right point to cut across the stream, oh. the babbling brook. Ooh. Ooh, wood for Josh's fire. Mm. <laughs> Bit wet. Bit wet. Oh, look at the moss on that wall. That's amazing, isn't wow. it? That's so cool. I bet it's pretty eerie around here at night. Oh, look at that little bird there. Just in front of you. Oh, yeah, it's a great tip. Oh, look at him. Right, there's a warning sign here, let's read it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <The two. laughs> That's so you. <laughs> One of the things that actually is so quite so um or so impressive are the quality of the bridges. I I, I mean look, ornate. That, that, that must mean something, those little symbols over there. No, that's the um Steel that's used to reinforce the concrete. There. Oh. You mean <laughs> I those X's? It was a carving, yeah. No, if you oh, look yeah, here on the right, look. Oh, it's all broken. Sorry. I thought there was something cool. Sorry. Well, it's still cool. I know it's still cool. It's just not. It's not so Egyptian markings or whatever you had it had them down for. Egyptian markings. <laughs> Can't know. But I'm not that cool. Oh yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Right, is it time to climb? I'm just going to check climb. the map. Well, <gasps> we have to walk up there. Don't know yet. It almost feels like this should be a tram road or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's, it's here with purpose. Well, the tree line's definitely thinning out. You can see right through them now. It's So if you look back here, just sort of dense trees in here. You can see the daylight, so we think we're going to need to turn left somewhere. Just need a bridge. Not quite as graceful as the others, is it? It's got a here. Flood defence, is it? Or yeah, so they can control water levels. Look. Um. You see the. I don't know what's that called, sluice gate or something. And control the water going down that beck. That's the right terminology. I'm mad with it. He's <laughs> living it. He's living his best life. Oh, he's not got in that one at that side, that's going to be a bit... <laughs> that's sort of stagnant at the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie wouldn't go in there. He'd want to, but... Uh, he'd know it he'd wasn't be Exactly right. But if he did go in there, he'd come out smelling of roses. And clean. <laughs> Cleaner than he went in, because that's just the sort of dog he is. <laughs> Now then, this looks okay, doesn't it? I think we've got our transportation system across the... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's how we transport ourselves. Some people call them bridges, but... Did you have something funny for breakfast today? Just an apple. Laced with. <laughs> I don't. Let's go up there. Some of it. Some of it. Some of it. You choose my angel. I 
think it's to the right of here. It's very different in here now, isn't it? It's almost... Yeah. Uh, it's not as dank. Is that... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's a bit more live forest than... Yeah. Sad, gloomy forest. I like it. <laughs> we found a much less well-trodden path, which I think is going to hug the edge of the forest, which is what what we want to do to give us the best chance of finding finding the lost farm. Just got to be careful of all the tree roots. I mean, I don't know if this, this is the best example we're going to see of it, but just to demonstrate how these farms ended up being lost and abandoned. I mean, if that, I, I don't know farming, but you could probably have sheep and cattle and stuff on that. It looks a little bit challenging, but, and then when they planted the trees, you're not having farming, uh, you're not having your animals in here, are you? They plant trees to get rid of the people. Yeah. Yeah, rather than chuck them off the land and all the rest of it, they just basically uh, planted all the trees. Mm. Nowhere for the farm, uh, for the cattle to uh, to graze. And we were just debating off camera <laughs> whether. How will we know when we found it? <laughs> I think we might have found it. Here we go. Oh, it looks like there's an information board. <laughs> Elizabeth Jane Dixon. Twelve children! Well, in so many shame, uh, so many ways, what a shame to see it like this. But here's a standing piece of history. So we've got holes in the gable, and well, they're not holes. So presumably they were to. Don't know. Were they for floor joists? Was it two-story the building? Although. That joist is now head level for me, but maybe the ground was much lower. Presumably that's an old fireplace. And chimney. Got a well-preserved window. Oh yeah, I've got corresponding um, joist holes on the other side, haven't we? Oh, look at this, dear. Or the pile. Oh yeah, so it will have been. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point because they they were longhouses, weren't they? So they, yeah. So you're standing. Yeah, she so got gable. This. So maybe it was two stories for the living quarters, and then where the animals were, it was just an open. Right, so presumably this was sort of the boundary of, I don't know, the farm itself. You can sort of see. And then, you just pan here, you get, there you go. Suddenly you get the sense of the longhouse, don't you? So we've had another window, like here, another one here. Oh yes, that's so cool. And what a fab I know what a hard life, but what a fabulous place to live. 
but then when someone does all this and you're a farmer I can't, I can't get past the 12 children thing because <laughs> this would have been where they were born you'd imagine yeah with no real help I mean there were 50 farms weren't there so I'm sure the farmers all clubbed together and just helped each other but yeah Rear, rearing, that's the wrong word, isn't it? Growing a family of 12 here. So I think that would be an internal wall. Oh yeah, the mountain bikers have been here, haven't they? Yeehaw! <laughs> You're not allowed anymore, are you? No. <laughs> I might post up a picture of what happened the last time I no. went to a place like this. No. <laughs> Brace yourself. an interesting wall here. <laughs> did you hear what I said? Oh sorry dear, no. I was too busy turning the camera on, what did you say? I said don't even think about turning that camera on, as well you know. Okay. It's a bit late now, it's done so. Oh point it over, look at those lovely trees and mm. the big sky. Look at that aeroplane Oh coming. wowzers. <laughs> look at the contrast though. You got the backdrop of my angel being Doris but is what it all would have been like. And boom. Um, oh, I don't mind, yeah. <laughs> Made it without incident. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, we think we've just found another one. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a bit harder to find the, uh, the definition of this one, isn't it? The walls and... Try standing here and looking back. Yeah. So, external wall of some... Oh, look at this fungus. Check this out. Oh, what's his deal? Jelly sweets, don't they? Dare you? No, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no chance. Oh, is, what, is that one right on the top? Yeah. Or is that just the one? No, I think that's another one. Mm. Look at that, we're at eye level with that plane. <laughs> Shows how high up you are. <laughs> Yes, I'm having this. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> it's off, dear. It's not. <laughs> the Stop. little red lights just to tell you it's off. Stop it's a warning. It, you, know. you know, I've not got all my faculties at home. <laughs> <laughs> most of them, most of them mental. <laughs> uh. Right, we're going over this field because we think the next farm's up there. Are
He's the most chilled out sheep I think I've ever seen. That <laughs> dude's just not bothered. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> this fluffy dude here. Just while we were in the area, we wanted to visit the quarry. Now, Brinskull might be a village, but it's playing an international role. All the way over in Barcelona, there's work to try and complete an unfinished basilica, and all the local sandstone quarries are depleted. So they started an international search to try and find the exact stone, the exact sandstone that was used on the basilica, and guess where they found it? So whilst Brinskull may be fairly unknown to people in the UK, there are actually a whole bunch of Spanish people who know all about it. <laughs> If you'd like to know more detail on the Brinskull Moors, there's a book written by local David Clayton. And if you're interested in the work that's going on at the quarry, it's armstrongsgroup.com. So we really hope you enjoyed that little explore with us. And if you did, uh, and you haven't already, then please do subscribe. Um, it'd also be great if you could hit the thumbs up, the like button. As a brand new channel, it's not easy. It really isn't easy getting a new channel off the ground. And we think that the YouTube algorithm, uh, algorithm will be watching and we want to get a good report card. So the sooner we get some good traction and some positive feedback and thumbs ups and subscribers and messages and interaction, we, uh, yeah, the algorithm can pick us up and hopefully, uh, hopefully help us on our way. And if you liked it enough to share it with friends and family, that would be fantastic too. So looking forward to seeing you on the next one.